Now we're gonna try to find Jason from Element DIY. Oh, he's over there. You always need a couple. A lot of good videos. That's awesome. I appreciate that. Thank you. I've watched a lot of my videos. Yes. I like to show you mine real quick. If you that, that would be good. Yeah. Whenever you're done. Sounds good. You will be next. I'm I'm waiting for Jason. Passionately waiting for him to show me the new uh, camping setup that he has in his element. Nice. Yeah. Can you give me a tour really quick of your element over there? It's been a really busy year at Element DIY, so we've been designing a lot of things. But this has to be the jewel crown. This is from eLife Camping, and this is the eLife Camping setup. This is number two that came out of the shop and pretty much perfected the design with this model. So this is got, of course, the bed, as it's set up right now, it's got seats in the back and seats in the front. So if you sneak around the front, it's got ample room back here for seating wow. and changing. And the cushions blend in just perfectly. The hot, the hot rod seat also gives me a lot of ability to open this space up even more. And one of the additions that we have is this table that swings out. So I can go ahead and put, if I wanted to put my laptop on here and do a little bit of work, this is completely adjustable. So we can do that as well. You can even work like from the outside standing up from some people who like standing right. up. So yeah. that's cool. Yeah. So it's got a lot of different options. The base model, the idea with this whole setup was for us to be able to get something that we could flat pack and ship and get it to people in their hands and let them finish it themselves. So this base model at this side bed is $12.99. But we have a bed with that's slightly narrower for $11.99. And so you get to do all the assembly yourself, you get to do all the staining, the finishing yourself to personalize it. That's awesome. And it does come with this side cabinet too, right? It's got so the it's... side cabinet and the bed. That's what the base is. So the tables are extra. This little shelf is extra. The cushions and those types of things don't come with the base model either. Can you please show us how it turns into a bed? Absolutely. So it's got several different setups. The first I'll show you is the lounge mm -hmm. setup. So this is great for watching the sunset or the sunrise or watching a movie out the back if you go to the drive-in. Nice. So a lot of open space there. We're gonna go around just to see how it turns into a full bed. And it'll turn into a full bed here, one second. Do you want me to lift this up? Yep, that goes up and so Oh, I see. Got cool. Some pull you guys thought about right everything there. over there. Yep. We tried to make it as easy as we could. So I'll tell you, my first trip camping in this, it was in Michigan and it was freezing cold. And this is where my heater sat all night long. Nice. So you just got to get the hot rod turned around. Mm -hmm. there, there it is. Up. And this works for newer and older elements, like because of the seed, you know, how they mm -hmm. move more forward. So we've got the space, we've got it all designed out, so it'll work for any year element. It'll work with the cooler console as well. The SC console is something we still have to do a little bit of work on. And for the high rose hot rod, we need it to be facing forward at the moment. But if anybody has one, we can special ma make one. It'll just be three inches shorter. Awesome. And so you can have the seat turned around. Gives you a little bit of empty sp open space right here to change your shoes, get your dirty boots off. Awesome. Now, how about the cabinet? Like, what what is like the system build in mind when you guys build this? So the idea was to be able, you know, you've got open access here to a lot of your bedding. You can put a lot of the larger it's stuff. A lot of space down in there, right? Two smaller shelves here for kind of essentials and then of course it'll be hard to show you right now the front storage but there's a front storage container mm -hmm. section that's under there but you can all we'll see the one from the back let's check it out 
So basically, what we're gonna see right now is pretty similar in the other side, right? The f there's two thirds of the storage is back here, then another third of it is up front. Mm. So size-wise, this is the bigger of the two areas. Awesome. That's a lot of a space too. It's over five square foot for the whole base. And you can still open this even that is in bench mode, right? You can open it at any time. Awesome. Yep. You can only access the front when it's in the seating mode. So when you have the seats in position, it's really easy to open that up. So that would be a great place maybe for your emergency stuff that you wouldn't need all that often. This is great for access. And for me, this was a huge addition because I love to be able to cook while I'm on the road. And I also don't like to pack up, take a lot of time to get back on the road if I need to move quickly. So it's just a matter of taking the cooking equipment Storing it down underneath of there. Mm -hmm. Boom. Easy. Slide the table in. For me, as I mentioned, kitchens are huge. So we put a lot of thought into what this kitchen was going to look like. Right? It is a DIY kit, right? So it shows up flat packed, keeping the price down, and then you're putting it together yourself. And I've got a lot of personal modifications that I've already put into this one. It's completely open for that. Hmm. I want to get, you know, a magnet holder for back here for putting knives on this side. I'll definitely want to get, you know, some other things hanging on here, some little containers for spices and whatnot. As you can tell, I like to cook when I'm out. And so we made this also, also multi-purpose, so you could throw in nice. a cutting board or just a regular old blank cover for it. Nice. Or the sink. The cover of cool. the blank also covers the sink. So if you just need to cover that briefly for a moment and throw nice. that on there. You thought about everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is. I spent a weekend in it already. I'm super excited. It runs really well. It's got a lot of tabletop space for my power station, just little stuff. You know, I like to have my keys close. I like to have my glasses close. So purposefully, we left little edges in here for you to be able to lay things. Mm. And you utilize like part of the floor that comes with the element. Is that something that you added yourself, right? Right. This is a little personal as I piece. I like it. So we could definitely, you know, you can do leather. One of our guys is talking about doing leather with this or wrapping it with other things. I wanted to go with that flooring look. I thought that was really cool. I love it. If anybody wants to, let's say, just either order the bed or the cabinet, do you guys provide with like separate? Or no, it's a, it's a set. It needs it's to come together. The cabinet's freestanding. It doesn't bolt to anything. The nice. cabinet bolts just, it doesn't bolt into the car at all. It bolts here. It's got four long bolts through there with wing nuts on the back and you can tighten them up by hand. The, the, the bed itself connects to where the rear seats do. It locks onto there. So you really got two connection points here, four connection points here. We could pull this out of here, you and I, in less than five minutes. Awesome, thank you for showing me the setup. And I also noticed that you have a lot of more products yeah. in Element DIY, right? Yeah. Uh, can you just give us a tour of what sure. you got over there? Let's and... take a look at the table. So, so first, here's Avery. Oh, no. And he's been the creative mind behind some of the most impressive things that we put together. He did the original door cubbies, which have been a hit online. He came up with the only, to my knowledge, set of electric window openers and he's just perfected the moonroof as well. So I'm sure you'll want to talk to him individually. Yeah, we already have a tour of it. Okay. And I was amazed about it. <laughs> the cup holders too. Yep, staff cup holders. Cup holders. Yeah. It is like a newer product, right? Like the newest thing mm -hmm. that you have? Yeah. Awesome. yeah, the cup holders you just came out with, what, three or four weeks ago? Yeah, maybe if that. Like yeah. I'm waiting for the phone holder now. Yeah. Right? The phone holder, there you go. Yeah, I have to come up with a way for the dash to hold the phone and not the actual device. That's the thing. 3D printing has its strengths, but it has a lot of weaknesses, and I don't want it to drop somebody's $1,000 phone. Understood. Like, Understood. Huh? We'll find out. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Cool products. And what else you got over there? So my big push over the last few months has been these grill covers or grill shields. The 2003 to 2006 afford the most amount of flexibility when it comes to personalizing things. So there's a few different mounts 
We have a quick fit, which just go, fits right over top of your existing grill, and you bolt it on there, and you walk away, you're done in about 30 minutes. We have something that's called the standard fit, which is gonna take you about an hour, and that keeps the H still in place. But if you wanna go even further down the rabbit hole, we have this one, which is called the modular mount, where you actually remove the grill behind, mount this one in place, and this is gonna allow us to quickly expand what we're offering as far as LEDs go. Nice. We've got a lot of new lighting options that are gonna be ready at the beginning of August. So 8-8 is gonna be our launch date for the illumination evolution. And we are gonna have a lot of backlit items and new LEDs that can be programmable and also not just designed in the shop, but sent out to the user and they'll be able to design the light pattern that they want. So right now, if you want something done with LEDs, you gotta let me know, I got a specialty build it for you. These are gonna be more packs where you'll be able to do your own design at home. Cool. And also you do uh, costume builds for like the grill covers? Absolutely. Right? Yeah, we do a lot of custom work. So, so if anybody has an idea how they can contact you to like check out your products or buy anything that you offer for the community? Yep, anywhere you want to go waste time or waste money, I'm Element DIY. Element so DIY. it's elementdiy.com. It's also on Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube as well. Awesome. So we've been working on a few other cool little things. This comes from my buddy Jim. You might have seen these. These are fully removable windows for the second window to allow your dog to stick his head out the window. Awesome. These are also on the website on Element DIY. We've just come out with a retrofitted bracket for the fog lights for the SCs the 2007 and 2008. Nice. 3D printed. Of course, we have a lot of the stuff that we're known for, the cubbies, but I'm mostly excited. This one will be perfecting it very, very shortly for a full OEM replica of the backrest. Oh, wow. It does look like exactly the same. We have better material, I would, mm -hmm. I say, I would say. Yeah, what nice. I did is I have an original and I took it to a local shop near me that they make bags for the military mm. and said, I want you to duplicate this for me as close as you can. So we've got that. We've got 3D printed brackets that go with it and we'll be offering it either as a full kit or you could just buy this and the brackets and then do the assembly at home. Nice. Right that now the cover itself is just 150 because it's not ready to go as a full set yet. The cups is where I got my start. The laser This etching. is what it started all the VRC. <laughs> all of here, that, guys. really. There was the lay, it was the cups and the decals. So I started with a small laser and a small vinyl cutter, and it just kept growing on top of that. So this is one of my favorites, the Stay Wild design. We've also moved a lot into the dog friendly stuff. So including that dog friendly design and that's a good companion for the doggy windows kind of a theme that we have with a lot of dog friendly stuff. In fact, we're doing a dog friendly hour up here later in the day where we're going to be giving out dog treats for anyone to bring their dog up and come check out the dog friendly gear that we have. Awesome. But all of this stuff is available here today, but of course you can order it anytime on the website. We do shipping very quickly and um, you know, we've shipped to all over the United States and Canada and Puerto Rico. Awesome, good to know that information. And Jason, thank you again for everything that you do for the community, all the ideas that you have. It's definitely open the doors for people like here, you know, that we want to come yeah. and make our element feel like home. Right. So thank you, thank you again. And this is amazing. Over 200, 200 elements here in a field. We've almost doubled the number from just last year. So it's great to be here and be part of it and working in a community that is so creative and that is so supportive, that loves new ideas. And there's, you know, everybody, even all the other small businesses, we all support each other. You know, if awesome. you have, so Ryan down there, great guy. If you haven't gotten to talk to Ryan from Mano Supplies, you want to check it out. Oh yeah, we'll too. check it out for sure. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah. Uh, here is my sticker. Oh, wow. Thank you so much again. Yeah, we're putting that right on Hank. Awesome.
Bye. Thanks so much, Miguel. A buddy of mine, Matt, out in California, San Francisco area, he is 3D printing uh, these as well. Don't have any with me here for sale, but they're available on the website. They come in either unfinished or in a gloss white or a gloss black, and or you can order special colors. He'll even special design a logo in the middle if you don't like the H and you'd rather put something more personalized in there. Nice. He'll do that for you as well. So Element DIY, and you're gonna look for the Steely Hubcap Centers. Okay, so let's check it out. Nano Supply uh, looks like it's also here. Uh, and he has pretty cool uh, like teachers. Um, some of these like uh, water bottles and keychains. Uh, let's go around guys. Let's go around and see more of the elements that are here today for the 2024 element on the dragons. Uh, look at this kiwi element right here. It looks really nice. Uh, it does have a fit element cabinet. 